Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of finding volume. This is standard 5.6b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Raymond used 42 cubes, that's going to be important, to build the first layer of a rectangular prism. All right, so we need to be thinking of a rectangular prism here. The edge length of each cube is one inch, so that lets us know that we're dealing with inches here, and that each cube is just one inch. If they were two inches or three inches, that would totally shift everything. The finished prism had a total of seven layers, so what is the volume of Raymond's prism in cubic inches. All right, there's no picture, and there's not even any answer choices to choose from. So we are going to have to draw a picture, and then we're going to have to bubble it in ourselves. So let's see if we can draw a rectangular prism. And so I'm just going to kind of attempt to draw one over here, and we'll see what we can do here. All right, so that would be all that we could probably see from the front. I will do a few dotted lines to give it a little bit of look of depth. So we have some layers here. So we've got 42 inches to build the first, 42 cubes to build the first layer. So I'm just going to make a guess. They're not going to give us any numbers, and it really doesn't matter, but I'm thinking this is probably 7 inches. This is probably 6 inches. Just saying that it could be 21 and 2. We never, or, yeah, 21 and 2, but we. We don't really know for sure, but I'm just going to pretend like we've got some cubes sitting in here. And what that's going to do is that's going to help us kind of visualize what we're looking at here. And so let's just see if we can put a few lines here. We're not actually going to count the cubes, but we just need to kind of get a good, clear picture of what is actually hap happening here. So this right here is what we would call the base. Now the base is actually a two-dimensional area so that's actually going to be length times width. So our base, the area, is going to be length times width and that's they already gave that to us. That's the 42 cubic inches or the, the 42, those are actually 42 cubes. And so what we're looking at is we're looking at how many of those same layers can we put into this particular shape. And what they gave us is they went ahead and gave us the height of 7 inches. So there are 7 layers, this first one being there, and they're all identical. So this brings us back to our one of our there's many different volume uh, formulas, but one of the volume formulas that we're going to use is volume equals base times height. You can also use volume equal length times width times height. And then when you get into cylinders, pyramids, those have all different volume formulas. But for rectangular prism, one of the ones we're going to use is this base times height. And they basically gave us both of the numbers right in the problem itself. So we know that our base here is 42 cubes. So base is 42. And then they say that there's a total of seven layers. And so I'm just going to put the parentheses here to show multiplication. And so that's it. All that work, now that we've got it visualized, we just need to multiply 42 times 7. That base times the height, that's going to get us our volume. That's going to be 14. 28, 29. Now, there is no multiple choice, so we do have to make sure we bubble this in correctly. Your answer document would have something that looks like this. You're going to have two digits to the right of the decimal. You're going to have three digits to the left. And the only thing we need to know is where to put this 294. Don't put it all the way to the right. This is our hundreds, our tens, our ones. We don't need any decimals. We would just put 294 and then bubble the numbers underneath. 